what I have learned um, in the past year that we have had the pigs, in the past about three and a half months that we've had the chickens, is how important it is to say no. I just have to grow cautiously, know my boundaries, both as the, an animal caretaker and financially and also personally. I just have to um, not get in over my head keep their quality of life as the most important thing. My personal view is that I want to be able to give the best care. I, I feel like safety is absolutely one of the most important things. Safety and medical care and um, veterinary care, health, those are my priorities. And so that means that I have to limit the number of animals that we can take in. His name is Bosco, and the black hen, her name is Ariella, and the brownish gray girl, that's Allie. With regards to free-ranging chickens, I know that they look very peaceful and very picturesque and beautiful, but the thing with free-ranging is that they're always at risk for predators. I feel like the pigs and the chickens that live here are kind of ambassadors for all of the other pigs and chickens that are not so lucky. We don't profit from anything um, that we do, any events, everything um, income-wise, anything that we receive goes right back into their care. For example, this fencing project that we just um, received the materials for, their, their vet bills, hoof trimming, food, every every dollar that we receive just goes back into their care. And I think typically, um, like a petting zoo, it's, it's structured a little bit differently as a for-profit business. It just, um, you know, it doesn't benefit the animals. We don't use or exploit the animals in any way. Like right now, if the pigs don't feel like hanging out with us, that's fine. We have no expectations of them 
um, performing or doing any specific things while, um, while people are here or ever really. In fact, at our Pigs and Kids events, when we do them, um, Carlos, it's a little bit much for Carlos, so we give him his own section in the barn and nobody really um, goes into his area. He just needs some space and we want to respect that. So the animals are just never forced or even really expected to do any certain thing. Bringing people in is awesome. <laughs> because it raises awareness, it allows people to just engage and interact and connect with the animals, but um, what they do is really up to them.